Here we presents the top 5 best Sony TV S. Starting at number 5, Sony X900H 65-inch. The XVR X900H is the best-performing mid-priced Sony TV I've tested in years, with excellent contrast and brightness, accurate color and plenty of punch with HDR. Add to that a solid smart TV system, sleek styling and cutting-edge features, and you've got a great television for anyone who values Sony's brand, but doesn't want to pony up for one of its Olay TVs. The key to this TV's image quality, as with all LCD-based sets, that perform well in my side-by-side -side tests, is well-implemented full-array local dimming. It improves black levels and contrast, by illuminating different areas of the screen separately as needed. In some crucial ways, such as reducing stray illumination with HDR, the X900H beat the similarly equipped TCL6 series in those tests, but in other ways the TCL won out, with superior brightness and contrast overall. The Sony also costs more than the TCL, so it's not my top recommendation for people who want the best image quality for the money. A couple of subtle touches separate the X900H from other big screen, thin frame TVs available today. There's a line of silver metallic finishing around the extreme edge on all four sides, matching the silver-colored stand legs. Those legs are thinner than usual, but feel plenty solid, and I appreciate it, that they're metal and not plastic. Moving out into the daylit Seattle streets, the 635 again looked best overall thanks to superior contrast, which as usual helped colors pop. The Sony still looked great, however, and differences would be tough to discern outside of a side-by-side -side comparison. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Sony XBR 65 A9G. With all brands using the same LG-sourced panels for their OLED TVs, the question is how you differentiate yours from everyone else's. With its striking designs, superior processing and ingenious screen vibrating sound solution, it's a question that Sony has been answering better than most. It's also one of Sony's master series models, which are designed to recreate the creative intent as faithfully as possible. Thanks to its presence in every stage of the film production process, many studios use the company's BVMX300 monitor when mastering their content, that's something Sony is uniquely positioned to deliver. Those putting the TV on a piece of furniture will appreciate that the pedestal stand gives it a footprint of just 46 x 24 cm. It also has a low profile, keeping the screen close to the tabletop upon which it's placed. The AG9 is the best in class in a number of respects. It looks and sounds better than its rivals, and has better motion. It's a fabulous performer with 1080p, SDR content too. But if you're looking at spending this sort of money, you want the best TV for the best content. Currently, that is 4K HDR, and with this the Sony falls behind the LG C9 and Samsung Q90R. At the same price as the LG, the balance of pros and cons would probably see the Sony awarded 5 stars. However it's 700 pounds more expensive, it really needs to be better across the board. It isn't, and so the AG9 has to settle for 4 stars, even though we are rather fond of it. Halfway of my listed number 3. Sony X800H 43 inch. The 2020 Sony TV lineup is quite encompassing, spanning several different sizes in both 4K and 8K variants. We chose the X800H 43 inch model, which features a Sony X1 processor, 4K resolution, HDR10 and Dolby Vision support, Dolby Atmos support, dual 10W speakers, 802, 11 Act Wi-Fi, Google Assistant Voice Search, and HomeKit. Sony has kept a relatively modern design with its new line of TVs. The bezel is very narrow around the edges which helps it blend in, or gives you an excuse to jump up a size. We replaced a 46-inch set with a 43-inch set, and between the smaller bezels and overall smaller size, we wish we'd have opted for the 49-inch instead. The stand is comprised of two angled arches that go on the left and right side, and are installed with a Phillips screwdriver. These look nice with a brushed finish, but you feel a bit plastic Why? This is an entry-level set, and the whole thing has a bit of a plastic feel, but Sony does a good job of masking it until you touch it. This is a solid, if unexciting, medley collection of ports. We are most thrilled by the inclusion of four HDMI ports for connecting a multitude of devices, though we'd have preferred perhaps two HDMI ports on the back, because it looks a bit cleaner, and it is easier to hide the cables. 
If you unplug your devices a lot, side ports are obviously better. If you are in the Apple ecosystem though, you will be pleased with its excellent support of HomeKit as well as AirPlay 2. Without an Apple TV, you can cast audio and video right to the TV. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. Coming in at number 2. Sony XBR65A8G. The Sony Master Series A9G impressed us when we reviewed it last month, combining the strong performance of an OLED panel with the convenience and power of Android TV and hands-free Google Assistant voice control. It's pricey, though, which is why Sony offers the non-Master Series A8G line as an alternative. This scaled-back OLED TV uses a nearly identical panel to the A9G, but lacks the hands-free Google Assistant access and some of the design polish of the Master Series line. In exchange, it's much less expensive at $2,499.99 for the 65-inch XBR65A9G we tested. That's still very pricey, considering LG's OLED TVs edge out Sony's in brightness, and Samsung's flagship Q90R LCD recently blew us away with its picture quality. The AHG looks sleek, simple, and black. The panel itself measures just a quarter of an inch deep, with the front dominated by the OLED picture, which is framed by a quarter-inch black border around the edge of the glass, followed by a thin band of black metal along the sides. The bottom edge of the screen features another slim strip of metal, which holds a barely visible Sony logo on the lower left corner, an indicator LED in the middle, and a remote sensor on the lower right corner. It's a strikingly flat, minimalist look that holds up the TV as a simple black rectangle. The TV rests on a flat, black, U-shaped metal stand that connects to the bottom of the enclosure with two short metal legs. It's another simple, unassuming design element that disappears against the screen itself. Visa screw mounts on the back also allow optional wall mounting without the stand. If you're willing to spend a few thousand dollars on a TV, the Sony A9G offers better features, and the Samsung Q90R has a better picture. If you're looking for a more economical alternative, the Hisense H8F and TCL6 series both offer admirable picture quality and strong feature sets for a fraction of the price, though they don't come close to any OLED's performance. And number 1. Sony XBR49X900F. The Sony X900F is a great 4K TV with impressive picture quality, especially in a dark room due to the high native contrast ratio and full array local dimming support. The TV excels at HDR as it can produce bright, vivid highlights. Motion handling is also excellent due to the fast response time and ability to flicker the backlight to clear up motion. The main negative is the narrow viewing angle, so the best image quality is reserved for those directly in front of the TV. The Sony X900FS design is great. It's quite different from traditional Sony aesthetics. The wide set legs are the most noticeable difference, and they do require a larger table but are designed so that the Sony Samber can fit between them. There's basic cable management similar to the X900E down the back of the stand, but it isn't as good as the X930E which includes routing through the back panel. The build quality is very good, and the TV feels solid. The stand supports the TV well and feels secure. It's wide enough to place a Samber between the two feet. There's also space at the back of the legs for cable management, which most people will enjoy. The back of the XBR55X900F has a simple design with two sets of inputs. One is directly on the back, pointing downwards, so it can be difficult to reach if the TV is wall-mounted. The other set of inputs is on the side and should be easy to access no matter where you place the TV. The Sony X900F is a great TV for a range of usages. High contrast ratio and local dimming results in great dark scene performance for watching movies in a dark room. Input lag is low, especially at 4K, and motion handling is excellent which is great for gaming. The TV can produce bright, saturated highlights for HDR. Unfortunately, the image degrades when viewed at an angle. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe.